Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be applying and painting this look based on an albino gorilla. If you'd like to see how I did it, stay tuned. There's only been one albino gorilla to exist in the history of, well, ever. So yes, this is rare. All right, let's get started. I start with a base of prose to act as a barrier so the foam latex won't absorb all the paint. Powder to set it. Following reference photos, I base out the brows, cheek, and nose in purple using a stipple sponge to soften the color a bit. I then go over the entire face with a flesh color, making sure to leave about a half an inch unpainted to help for applying later. I take a blush color and go over the same areas I did with the purple. Layering the colors in this way will give the effect of skin translucency, which will help sell the look in the end. I then go over the highest points of the prosthetic with white to act as highlight. With a light brown, I go over the deepest parts of the prosthetic to help create shadow. Using that same brown, I create age spots and imperfections on the skin to make the prosthetic more dimensional. And now we're ready to apply. With a clean face, I apply prose to my brows. Then I apply prose to the center of my face, which will act as an anchor for the foam prosthetic. You'll have a few seconds of work time before the prose gets tacky and dries to make sure that everything is lined up with your face. Also, prosade is a pain to get out of facial hair and hair in general, so if you can shave fully, I would recommend that. Also, it's very important to make sure that you have the right removers for each adhesive that you're using before you start applying. I then use an angle brush to get into those hard to reach places, like around the eyes and around the mouth. Set everything with powder. I then went back over a couple areas where the edges were a little thick with prosade. Now to paint. I went over the edges with a white airbrush paint first, since my skin is much darker than the actual prosthetic, but you don't have to do this step if this doesn't apply to you. I then went over the white and a bit of the prosthetic with that same light brown I used in the pre-painting process to help blend the prosthetic to my skin. I left some places darker and some places lighter than others to create a little bit more dimension in the skin and to me this looks a little bit more realistic as well. I then went in with a darker brown to contour some of the deeper sections like the cheeks, the jawline, forehead, temples, nostrils, and eyes. Again, I didn't spend too much time trying to blend the edges of the prosthetic because I knew my wig was big enough to cover it and I knew it was only for video and photos. I then added a few more age spots for more dimension. I then used an alcohol activated palette to deepen some of the sections of the prosthetic, such as the nose, the cheeks, and the brows. Using a chip brush, I dab onto those areas and then use my finger to dilute some of the color. I then took a brown eyeshadow 
and deepen some of the areas of the face such as the eyes, the brow lines, and deep wrinkles to make it a little darker. I then went in with a product called Sweat Effect, which is basically glycerin and water. And this created a really cool effect and I feel like it pulled the whole look together. Then I put on my wig and costume to create the final look. And here's the final look. Please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel so you're updated when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for watching.